we go. We have our keys. One last Call of Duty Warzone match on my surround sound in the old house. There we go. Hmm, <laughs> gotta cut the grass tomorrow. Today. Our next to last time out here with your morning coffee, my queen. I'll miss our tiny backyard, but I'll like the new big one we'll have. Last night staying here, just kind of sitting out here remembering all the good times that we had on the back porch. The bad is next. Got time in the living room, ready to go. Ready to go in the U-Haul. Powerpuff Girls on the TV. Ready for the U-Haul, my queen? Ready for the U-Haul. I'm gonna miss this garage. It's moving day, so we're going to get our U-Haul. Figured I would show how the U-Haul uh, mobile app works. And this is my 500th upload. 500. Dang. That's a pretty big milestone. Oh yeah. So click the like button, click subscribe, indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch. Let's get our U-Haul and start moving. Alright, let's see if they actually have this. So let me try it this way. Open in browser. So once you sign into your account, you've got your reservation here and stuff. Pick up my truck. I'm going to say 50 miles. Current address, please indicate where you are moving to if you're relocating. Don't really care. They don't need all that. Oh, do I? Uh, it looks like you physically, yeah, you physically have to click on these before you can accept them. Huh. All right, complete this purchase. All right, please make sure you complete all steps before you remove the rental equipment from our lot. All right, let's get started. I'm sure you can access my location since you need to know I'm here. Take a photo. Driver's headshot, driver's license front and back. All right, take a photo of my sexy self. Take off my sexy hat. Yeah, do the hair like that. All right, now uh, my ID. So find your truck. The trucker van is in parking spot 502. Use gate code provided to go through the gate. And it's in the second spot beside the exit keypad. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we have a gate code there. All right, so let's go do that. Bingo. We have a gate opening, my friend. We can go back here. I have found my truck. Report damage. Is there any damage that does not already have an X sticker on it? Like all of this stuff up top here? All of this is dented. You're getting that on the video, right? Yeah. As long as we have the video for it. I don't know. That's thing. I don't know if that matters. Alright, so we've been approved. Pinning charges is $89.59. Does continue. That's a really long one. I don't think you had to scroll that though. I agree. Almost done. You're almost ready to go. You must confirm the odometer and fuel level to finish your pickup. Retrieve the key. Use code given by U-Haul to access keys. Key compartment three. Oh, it's outside. Well, we can't get back out unless we use the code. Oh! So it's a word and not numbers. Now I get it. So compartment three. I'm guessing this is three. <laughs> there we go. We have our keys. So now we can come back here. We have our keys. I've retrieved my keys. No photos are found for your equipment. Please contact your whole location. What do you mean? All right, I'm just trying to click continue and it tells me no photos are found for your equipment. Yeah, a U-Haul representative will inspect the truck, please. My only option is continue, and then it takes me to this. We have the U-Haul, my queen. Yay! I don't know what happened there with the app at the end. The continue button was the only button to click, and then it took me to a page telling me I didn't, didn't upload photos that it didn't ask for. So I'm just going to film the uh, odometer and the fuel, and we're going to get out of here, because we got the key and we got stuff to do. So, back to the house. 9.59.
We've had the U-Haul not even an hour, and we've almost got our whole bedroom in there. Just need our two little end tables. Still waiting on somebody to hopefully come get these items for free. But all the big stuff's gone from down here. A few more boxes to deal with tomorrow over here. And then we're out of here. Almost everything is out of here. Everything's out of Kaylee's room, besides this and her computer and stuff, which I'm getting tomorrow. And then the same for this room. This is getting trashed. And these two desks with computers I'm grabbing tomorrow. Oh yeah, I need that access point. We're done. I know I didn't record like any of the moving part really, but I was too busy. It's 2.33, we got the U-Haul at 9 o'clock. We just finished unloading. Now we're gonna go drop the U-Haul off and get my car and get some food. All right, back on a half a tank and uh, looks like 36 plus 20, so 56 miles. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We did it. U-Haul successfully returned. Time to get some uh, food in our bellies. Yeah. Rocking my old Atlanta Legends jersey. Yeah. All right, what's the following day? I'm here by myself. I've got to grab some uh, stuff, including this iMac that I'm currently working on and got to pull a few things out. This is 100% officially my last video that's going to be recorded in this room. Now, uh, we had chose uh, what's called like the U-Haul mobile experience so that basically we were able to go before that storage unit opened to pick up our car. So the storage unit opened at 10, we picked 9 a.m. and we were basically able to just go to, well, once we had made our reservation, we were literally just able to arrive, go to U-Haul, share our location so they knew we were actually in that U-Haul location, and then basically sign into our account and select to get my truck. We then had to follow all the little steps to get inside the gate. We had a gate code included there, so we got inside the gate, check out the truck and everything, and then we had to go back out and grab the keys. And it was truthfully a very, very smooth process. Now, I don't know what happened at the end. As you could see there, I was on like the final screen once I had the keys and everything and was trying to click continue. And then it was saying that like I didn't upload a photo, I hadn't asked me for a photo except for the one that I took of the damage, which that photo uploaded pages before. I didn't actually have a, a recording of that to show you, but that had uploaded and I was able to continue past that. So I didn't really know what it meant, uh, but we had stuff to do. So I was like, well, I have the key. I've did everything else. You know, I should be all right. And I went ahead and grabbed it. I didn't have any issues with it whatsoever. Truthfully, a pretty easy experience. And honestly, returning it was the same way. The uh, keys had a little sticky note on it with a reminder of the gate code. So we basically arrived, used that gate code, pulled into a parking spot, and then we had a few more steps, which sadly I didn't record for you. But we had a few more steps, which was basically take a photo of the U-Haul, take a photo of it clean, show the mileage and stuff like that, and which parking spot it's in. We took those four or five photos and, and answered those couple of questions. It probably took less than five minutes. And the next thing you know, we were back on the road to finally go eat something. And we went down to Twin Peaks, had a great meal, grabbed a 100-foot Ethernet cable from Home Depot, and then got to the home to uh, unpack stuff. And, well, I set up Wi-Fi, but sadly forgot to get our uh, power cable for the TV. We forgot our power cable. So we have our Lenovo Smart Display, so we still have TV. So yeah, that's what happens when you really want to watch TV, but and all you have is a Lenovo 8-inch Google Home tablet. But that'll do it for this video. I'm very excited that this is my 500th video. I think that's a pretty big milestone, something I definitely didn't necessarily plan to do four years ago when I made my first YouTube video. So today we are gonna hang, set up, I mean, something up. <laughs> it was just something Kaylee wanted to do and gave it a shot and enjoyed it. I always enjoyed that sense of like completion I would get making a, a, a audio track with a friend once it was all done and it was actually a song we could listen to. I always felt like I had completed something that day. And that's kind of the same thing I got out of YouTube. That's why I've been trying to post so many videos and just do it more because it gives me that sense that I've did something and completed something every single day. I think 500 is a perfect spot right here to end this house and then uh you know we'll be in the new place it's not as nice and, and new as this one gives about six months maybe a year to get everything handled and straightened out and we're going to completely revamp that house and bring it into the 21st century so that's going to do it for this episode two thumbs up to the mobile u-haul experience on to episode number 501 i'll see you at my next milestone which i guess would be like a thousand so maybe in like another year and a half i'll 
make another little video like this. So click that like button for me, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. My hair, crazy. See you next time, deuces.